How's it going everyone? It is System Secrets here, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the ultimate CPU optimization guide for gaming and performance within Windows. This works in both Windows 10 and 11, works in desktops, laptops, regardless of how high-end, low-end, old, or new they may be. Regardless of how good or bad your CPU is, we're going to be focusing on allowing you to achieve better multi-core performance, improving FPS across the board in any games in which you play. As always, if you enjoyed this video and find it useful, please do consider pressing that like button and leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm, as it helps me out tremendously. With all that said and done, let's get straight on to the guide. For the first basic Windows optimization for CPU settings, take yourself down to your taskbar, right-click and open up Task Manager. Alternatively, you can use Control shift escape in your keyboard, head over to the Startup tab, every single application within it, which is marked as Enabled underneath the status, will open automatically every single time you log in. Now, not only will this increase login times and PC boot times, but these programs will be automatically running in the background every single time you log in, taking up CPU cycles and resources. So, to solve this issue, head over to any programs you know you don't need to be automatically open. This doesn't mean that you won't be able to use the programs, it just means that they will not automatically open up. I can still use Spotify anytime just by simply opening it on the PC. Right click on a program you know you don't need open, then disable it, and continue to do this for all of the programs you don't need open. Following that up with the basic typical Windows settings for the best gaming performance possible, head to the settings, go to gaming, then ensure that Windows game mode has been switched on. That is a quick fix for those of you running on a Chromium based browser, whether they be Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox. Open up inside of your browser, head over to the top right hand side to the settings icon, navigate down to the settings menu, on the left hand side select advanced system, and ensure that the continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed section has been disabled. This is enabled by default and means that every single time you exit out of your web browser, all of your browser extensions and plugins will still run in the background, soaking up CPU cycles and resources. Turning this option off will mean that every single time you close out the browser from now on, everything about the browser is completely closed and not running. And closing access launchers and apps. Lastly, for the basic settings, we can navigate down to the bottom right hand side, click on our task icon tray and start by closing out any and all programs you don't need open. A common mistake people run into, if you're playing a game on Steam or on Epic Games, you don't need every single game launcher open. Just take yourself to the bottom right hand side, right click on these applications you don't need running when playing your game and exit out of them. Also try disabling HPET in Windows to reduce latency and increase FPS. Click on the Windows key and search for Device Manager. Select Device Manager inside of this tab. Take yourself down to the S section. And we're going to be looking for System Devices, but inside of System Devices, you then want to find the High Precision Event Timer. Right click on this option and disable this device. Now in many games, especially games in which you're already getting relatively high FPS, you should notice a slight reduction to input latency and higher overall FPS. This is especially true for those of you running on Ryzen based systems, as you could be seeing up to a 10% performance improvement in some games just from this optimization. If you find that you don't want this optimization kept, or if you find that Windows is now slow or performance isn't as good, simply come back within Device Manager, right-click on High Precision Event Timer, and re-enable it. Now let's move on to physical optimizations that can be made to your CPU and PC. One of the most crucial steps in maintaining your PC, especially if it's older than a couple of years, is to remove the CPU cooler. Clean off the old thermal paste and apply new paste. Thermal paste typically dries up and loses efficiency after 3 to 5 years, leading to higher temperatures that may cause thermal throttling and significant CPU performance issues. Additionally, ensure to clean out any dust accumulated inside the fan. Taking about an hour to perform these tasks will help keep your system running smoothly. 